What's happening, Turf Team? This is Rock Combo, and I'm playing a head-to-head -head game here with my Mutt team. This is my second game I've played this year in Mutt, and I'll tell you what, it was a struggle because <laughs> I've been playing so many solos, and solos make you a terrible player. They make you worse because you end up just getting in that lull of you're playing the computer, and this will work, or you're going to do this or that, and it's just terrible. I, I'm telling you, I, it made me a worse player. I was felt like I was playing at a pretty high level, and then I started playing all these journey solos, trying to get those uh, legend players, and it made me a terrible player, and this, this game <laughs> was kind of ugly, but it started out pretty good. I was able to get a stop and made him punt, so here we are with take, take, taking the punt return back for a nice little like seven-yard gain, all the way up to the 22-yard line. Chris Johnson with the nice little spin move, and then he got a warp tackle, and a crazy warp tackle. I, I'm telling you, sometimes the players just just fly like 10 yards i don't know it's, it's kind of kind of weird but anyways it's first and 10 second 11 here it looks like toke sending me a message or trying to give me a call on skype and on a third one i'm able to bounce it out to the outside and get chris johnson i'm telling you this is chris johnson i think he's like a 76 overall or something like that that's a hot dot and we got golden tate for six a reservation for six in the end zone but and I was just able to ni nice and lob it right over the defender's head. But this Christian Johnson card is absolutely phenomenal. I think he's one of the best running backs in the game. I do want to get his 90 overall, ex except woof, screamer. Except it's just a little bit too expensive. However, the speed back in this year's game, in my opinion, Eddie Lace is my favorite running back in the game or favorite running back in the pros. However, I think a speed back is better than. I've had both Eddie Lacy and this 76 overall Chris Johnson or 75. I don't know what he is overall. But the speed back in this year's game is a lot better than a power back. And just my opinion, yeah, the power backs will fall forward and get you some more yards. But with how nice toss plays are and some of these inside zones where Chris Johnson can bah, hit, hit the hole really fast and you can run around some of these players, it just is the speed speed kills in this game. So I definitely, last year I preferred power backs more than the speed backs, but this year it's definitely the sweep speed back year. So if you have been using a, like a Steven Jackson or, you know, big power back, you should definitely, definitely try out this Chris Johnson. It's only, he's only like up for a K. So it's not a lot of coin. Just put him in your lineup and see what you think. And let, let me, let us know in the comment section below if you like. Another touch pass right over the linebacker's head. It's one thing I like about this year's game. Oh yeah, this is a free tip that we put up on the Turf channel just the other day, so you want to uh, go back in the last video, and I'll try to put it in the description below as well. Just the Ra Ravens trail. It's a very nice play. However, I start running this this play a little too much, and you know, I was kind of like just going down the whole entire drive trying to use it. And I got sacked, and then I got a terrible animation from my receiver. Even though he was cutting wide open, he could have been able to take him to, that, to the crib. And the next thing you know is 4th and 30, 32. What, what looked like a promising drive as I'm up two scores to make it a three-score game uh, turned into just a disaster. And I was telling you earlier, I'm up 14-0 right now, and I'm trying to do different blitzes, do some different things on offense and defense, and... It just it just does not work out. It's, I'm I'm acting like I'm playing a solo right now, which is very frustrating. So this guy's gonna make a nice little comeback, and let's see if it's gonna be enough to take the game in OT, or maybe he can possibly win it and if he goes for two or something like that. But look at that crazy grab! That the dude got flipped over on his face. What a grab! First and ten. He's ran a lot of split close this game. Sent my screamer. Went back to the B and B, the bread and butter. Sent another screamer right there. Now we're at a third and ten. Big crucial down. Hits me with a screen pass. My DT, Dan Williams, made some really nice play recognition to stop it. And fourth and nine. Aggressive catch got the best of me. Holy cow, I hate aggressive catch, and I cannot wait till they patch it just a little bit. You know, Shugs went to EA, and he talked to him about it, and so supposedly they toned it down a good little bit, but they still need to patch it, I think, one more time. I think it's just a little too overpowered. If you you know try to press press X to swat the ball away, and, and whenever you don't get an animation, it's definitely frustrating. It's a little bit too much in the favor of the offense. I do like the tip passes that can turn into interceptions and all that, but they just need to tone it down just a little bit. You can let me know in the comment section below what you think as well. As I'm talking about that, I just have the terrible read. Uh, route combo needs to get some reads down because that's just trash. Just terrible. This whole second half has been playing terrible. 
But, you know, what can you do? I got to try to get a stop here as there's only a minute and 47 seconds left. Hits me in the flats. Very good play on his part to get a first and goal. Back in the split close once again. And that's a drop pick. That should that would be game over. There's no reason why that guy should drop that. Absolutely unbelievable. And then right here, I tried to bait him a little, a little bit. But this year, I still haven't got the users down with the being able to bait people because I do feel like it's a little bit slower. So it's a little, it's definitely harder to, to kind of swerve, you know, one direction, try to take away something real quick, and then boom, shoot back to the other way to get the pick. I feel like your players are a little bit slower on defense to do that. So I think the baiting is not as good this year as it has in past years. But uh, you know, I'll, I'll get it figured out. And my boy John Elway with one hell of a scramble to get me in field goal range, and I'm going to kick the game-winning field field goal as time runs out. I was up 14-0. Good game by my opponent. He made a nice comeback and tied the game up, and I had the game-winning drive with John Elway, just like his back-to-back -back Super Bowl drives. And this was the play of the game right here. Elway taking off for a nice 15-yard gain to get me the game-winning field goal. 2-0 and in much so far. Definitely leave a like if you liked it, and subscribe for more Madden 16 tips, commentaries, and gameplay. See you on the stage.